Hey everybody and welcome back to Live Between Paychecks Kitchen. I'm Oz, Jack and later still Lake Jackson. This is going to be awesome. It's something I tried right after the hurricane in 08. I thought everybody was crazy to put something savory with grits, but that's just my southern brain talking. This is amazing. I found a little box. It goes in our budget. Let's do the thing. Before we do, be sure to like, share, subscribe, do all the YouTube stuff, get the little notification bell down in that corner to get these as close to Tuesdays and Fridays as we can. And we also have merch down in the doobly-doo. We very much appreciate it. We're a small business. And let's get into the food. Nice and short and to the point. Yeah. All right, it's pre-packaged things, so it's relatively simple. First, you're gonna need a pound of shrimp. These rarely got a pound. You might have to find a little bit extra, whatever. You're gonna want half an onion. I'm only gonna put half in here. It's like one and a half cups, whatever. Uh, one whole stick of butter, because what southern thing doesn't need a bunch of butter? You want five cups of water. Some of the Worcestershire sauce. Why should the wee wee woo? And a box of this stuff, the the Cajun spoon, which actually works out really well. This is uh, this is the first time I've tried their stuff, but it, it it works. Like it's a shrimp and grits thing. It's the first time I used it. I want to try to do it from grits uh, from scratch sometime, but not this time. So get your onion. You want to pull off that root, and then you want to pull off that top knot, and then pull all that really rough skin, that onion skin, off the outside of it. And sometimes it takes a little while. And if you can hear my friend squeaking at me in the background, you got to talk to and hang out with friends. So you're going to cut this directly in half uh, sideways and then just go ahead and give it a slice or at least half. You're going to leave the other half sitting around. Be very, very careful. I'm doing this because I'm not a professional. I'm just an idiot. And then lay it down and give it a cut lengthwise. Now, if you need it smaller, you can go back again uh, crosswise from where you're cutting now. But that's more than small enough for what we're working on, what we're cooking on. So take your other half, put it in the Ziploc bag, set it aside, you're fine. All right, so get you a pot, decent-sized pot. You want to put five cups of water in here uh, and then turn it up to you know, pretty high. You want it to go ahead and boil, but you don't want it to burn on the bottom, so you don't want to turn it all the way up to high, but medium to medium high, okay? Uh, and you don't want to do it slow, so go ahead and put it up there. This is your grits that come with it. Uh, I can measure that out for you all later. And then get you a skillet and then turn that up to medium to medium low, right? You don't want it too super high. And then put your whole stick of butter in there, all right? I, I know people other, you know, on the other side of the pond are like, what the hell, a whole stick? Yeah, that's, that's what it is. It's, it's uh, eight tablespoons. Then put your onion in there. Let that start cooking down. Once it starts to just start to get where it's, the onion see-through, just starting to wilt a little bit, go ahead and add that shrimp. Make sure it's thawed. You don't want to add extra water to this. Just go ahead and put that pound of shrimp in there. Uh, make sure that they got the tail off. I, I missed one. Uh, you can kind of see it right there. Uh, <laughs> I missed the tail. I pulled it out before I served it, so trust me. So give that a nice stir. Put the meat on the metal, and then go ahead and add that packet of seasoning that comes with it. Now I'm going to break down next time when we do this from scratch exactly what seasoning that is but it's already starting to smell amazing just with the onions and just the top of that seasoning there now you get two tablespoons of the wishishiri washishir wishish the wiggity wiggity woo and put that in there and just do two of those all right uh uh, it again it's the fish base awesomeness just go ahead and add it in there uh and then give it a nice stir you're going to cook this for about five minutes once you get it nice and stirred or until your shrimp turns pink you don't want to overcook it and get nice and rubbery uh shrimp but just go ahead and again just you don't have to constantly stir it but you don't want to just leave it sit and just cook one side of everything once your water starts boiling check this out Ooh, boily water get you a whisk uh, especially if you have like nonstick stuff, use a rubber one. Uh, this one, I think my father attacked it with a spoon for years, so it's still good on the bottom. So uh, I just use the metal one here because it doesn't have any nonstick stuff left. Just whisk it in there until it's nice and whisk, and there you don't feel big clumps in it. Then you want to turn it down all the way to simmer and then cover it. I don't have a lid for this one, so just use a plate. Boom. Let it just sit and sit in there for five minutes with that plate on top of it. It's just a low simmer, okay? Again, here, just that five minutes while you're waiting on that. So you can, if you time it right, you can get it close to where they're both done around the same time. But, yeah, give this a nice stir and just keep checking on your grits. It looks a little watery, but trust me, it absorbs all that water. After that five minutes, go ahead and kill your heat. And here's how you serve. Just put the grits on the bottom. Uh, I use the bowl, mostly just because I'm here and I'm not worried about it being too fancy or too uptight. Uh, about how I'm dressing it or putting it in here. And then I got my nice ladle. I got a new ladle. Shout out to that. I got it for like two bucks thrift stores for the win uh <laughs> nothing like dead people's utensils right so uh go ahead you can serve it. it depends how you like it i don't mind uh the the sauce or whatever especially since i drained it and there wasn't a lot of shrimp on, uh, water on the shrimp uh that'll kind of water this down or whatever some people want it super dry with just a little bit of the, the sauce stuff that you've cooked it and dribble on it but there you have it man that's it shrimp and grits it is super filling it tastes amazing it's the first time i ever really had anything that was savory with grits uh, again, apparently this holds up. I saved some for a little 
little while and reheated it so it's good for meal prep but again you're gonna have to microwave it to reheat it so don't do that at work it's gonna make the entire place smell like shrimp and seafood and workplace like that is can always be a bad idea but yeah this one worked out really well i'm glad i found this prepackaged. and there you have it folks shrimp and grits on a budget it's amazing trust me if you've never tried it you always do grits as sweet or you do them with something else you don't do seafood check this out let us know if you do it differently if you do it without shrimp without seafood let me know. I will revisit this. This is really neat. It's my first experiment into grits. So I love the pre-packaged stuff. I'd love to do it with just regular grits and see how that goes or Insta grits or whatever. I don't even know what the hell a grit is, but that would be awesome. Let us down in the comments. We'll revisit it. Or you can put us on social media. Tell us over there. Facebook, Pinterest, Patreon, with all those at Live Between Paychecks Kitchen. You can also find us on Instagram, Live Between, and shorten it down. Find me, Oswe Nerdy, on all of those, including Twitter for now, and over at TikTok occasionally. I've been very busy, especially because Diablo came out. So, eh. so <laughs> I will see you all next time. Y'all have fun. Y'all be good with the food. Let us know if you come up with anything interesting, and I might catch y'all on Diablo. Be safe.